Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, The Ninth Cup, where I focus on your soul's destiny and everything you can do to embody your soul's purpose during the human experience. This reading will be for the sign of Pisces. It is the you plus who readings. For all placements in Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Seventh House, you could also be the cross watcher for a Pisces. I'm gonna be doing the readings um, for romantic partnerships. Now, it could come out that this is about something that is not so romantic, maybe a child relationship, family relationships, friendships and things like that, but I am channeling energies for romantic partners. So if you're currently partnered or looking to call someone in, this could be the reading for you. I'm using the Romance Angels deck. I'm gonna get three reading, three cards for your person and three cards for you. We'll clarify with tarot and wrap up with Oracle. So let's start with your person, Pisces. I wanna see what is going on with your person. Keep an open mind, Pisces. Keep an open mind. Your soul mate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Okay, Pisces. I think that's actually easy for you to do, Pisces. I think you're actually a very open-minded sign. You're a, you're a um, water sign, but you're backed by Aquarius. So for some of you that could be on that Aquarius Pisces cusp, I think that's something that you naturally do anyway. Unrequited love. Unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Hmm. Let's see what else is going on. So this is actually for your person. I'm sorry. I think I, I said that this, you know, maybe this is for you then. This is, could be, okay. So this role will be for you. The next role will be for your person. Um, so for you, keep an open mind for unrequited love. Huh, so maybe you're thinking this person isn't your type, but Source wants you to keep an open mind. Separation. What's going on here, Pisces? Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Yeah, so you, maybe you just are not feeling it. Like whoever this person is, um, maybe going into separation is going to help you see this person in a new light. We'll get Tarot to clarify, of course, in a minute. But I'm just getting this, you're not really feeling it. Like, but this person could be treating you really well. You know, maybe they're like, kind of like, look good on paper, but you're just not feeling the vibe. Yeah, getting to know each other is what's coming out for your person. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So this person is definitely feeling you. Um, and they want to get to know you on a deeper level. Next part that flew out. Oh, they definitely want to get to know you on a deeper level because wedding flew out. Yeah, they want to marry you or they see you as marriage material for sure, Pisces. Um, too many flipped. Okay, let's get one more for your person. This person is kind of like head over heels for you because a lot of cards are flipping out. Passion. Yeah, they're passionate about you. Allow your heart and your soul to sing with joy. So they're hard singing with joy for you, but you're kind of pulling away. And I don't know why that is, Pisces, but we'll see what the tarot has to say. For a second, I'm going to pull your cards to the side. Uh, I'm sorry, your partner's cards to the side. And we're going to get some clarifiers for you. Using the Light Sears Tarot deck to get some clarifications on your energies. So to clarify, keep an open mind. What do we have? King of Swords. This came up for Aquarius. So some of you, again, could be have Aquarius strongly in your chart or be on a Pisces Aquarius cusp, um, or this person you're dealing with could be an Aquarius. Um, Aquarians are very open-minded people. Um, they can be stubborn. It's a fixed sign. But this King of Swords energy is telling me, again, to use like logic and use truth to really discern like how you feel about this person. I'm getting that she might be, Pisces, I think you're maybe being a little bit shallow here. Or like, you know, maybe you see like your friends doing things. You have three of pentacles here coming out with unrecredited love. So maybe you're like trying to make this person be something they're not trying to like kind of build a character for them that they're not or make them like present themselves in a way that, that is not them. Because you have keep an open mind like your soulmate may differ from your expectations and what you're used to. And then with unrequited love, Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles is like the collaboration card, like a card of building. Um, so you could be like, maybe this person is like 
you know, really loving, really caring, well-mannered, but you want them to be in another way. Maybe you want them to dress a certain way or you want them to like a certain, I don't know, kind of music or kind of, you know, they, excuse me, you want them to be into certain things that maybe they're not into. The world, yeah. The world is coming out with separation. So it's like you're kind of ready to wrap it up. Um, intuitively, I feel like you're kind of indifferent as well. Like you really don't, like you're really not pressed about this person. Like they can stick around, but they also can go away and it really wouldn't matter to you. Um, let's get a few more cards for you. Page of Wands. This also came out for Aquarius. So you could be willing to kind of go in a new direction and you could also be, like I said before, kind of vibrating in like very immature energies seeing things through the lens of a page which is a young person a very youthful person someone who doesn't have a lot of experience um and someone who's just yeah kind of immature I'm not saying you are immature but again like how you're viewing this person is in an immature way like it's just a little bit material and shallow the next card out was two of wands so you're trying to decide whether again like whether you're going to walk away or stay and maybe try to see what comes of it um that's what i'm getting for you pisces now let's see what's up with your person i feel like your person's feelings are more clear than yours you're kind of like in this seesaw like back and forth energy um let's see your person yeah the four of wands flipped for them they definitely see like stability with you they see themselves like building a foundation with you fours and tarot are all about like family foundation and home yeah, Ace of Cups flipped for them. New beginning, a new emotional beginning. Um, you know, making decisions from their heart space. Um, being loyal to you, committed to you. Oops. I'm gonna keep going. So, too many cards flipped over. Let me see what comes out for passion. The Emperor. This person is the Emperor for you. They're embodying emperor energy. So I think this is what's going on. This person is way more mature than you are in terms of how they uh, pursue their romantic relationships and their expectations. This person is coming in as an emperor um, that's looking for marriage, stability, foundation, and you're kind of just like undecided, maybe wanting to still travel and be free um, and just kind of enjoy your life. But it's not that you don't, it's not like you feel like this person isn't the one. I feel like you're just not sure if you're ready to be in a relationship with this person. Nine of, bottom of the deck is nine of cups. So this person is definitely secure within themselves. They wanna be with you to get to their 10 of cups, their family, their total wish fulfillment. Um, now let's see what energies are kind of like between the two of you. This is like each of you individually. Now I wanna see, I'm gonna use the my astrology cards, the eight house tarot to see what's vibing between the two of you. Yeah, 10 of water came on, I just said it. 10 of water is 10 of cups. But I definitely think that's more their energy. Um, they see like this total wish fulfillment with you. You're kind of, see I feel like they're looking at you and you're kind of like everything they wanted but you're not really feeling that way about them. And again, it's like, you're just not feeling it. Yeah, Knight of Air came out. Knight of Air came out, which is Knight of Swords. So I definitely think somebody is going to be speaking their truth soon. You, Pisces. About how you feel um, soon. Fast-paced energy. Knights are usually fast-paced. Um, air is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. And then we have Ten of Earth which is 10 of pentacles. So a lot of wish fulfillment and um, like success in this reading. I just feel like you're the one that's kind of pulling away and I really don't know if it's it really is just immaturity or fear. I'm getting that it's immaturity. And again, we have nine of water at the bottom of this deck, nine of water, which is nine of cups. So we have two nine of cups that came out. 
it's just that I'm getting like there's hesitation and this could just be that you need some time to think about it you could need time to separate with this separation card and the two of wands you maybe need to just like sit and like vibe by yourself for a little bit we also do have two nine of cups cards the nine of cups is like total wish fulfillment for yourself as an individual so maybe you need a vibe a little bit longer in that nine of cups energy um that's your energy it's jupiter and pisces so yeah maybe that's what's going on here but this person is like ready for the new beginning with you and you're kind of like whoa wait a minute um not quite yet um and maybe you know going back to that three of pentacles card that came out at first i was seeing that that was you trying to make them be something they're not but maybe it's like you feel like you need to build yourself up more um yeah or just just kind of be in that single space longer let's end the reading with a few keepers of the light oracle and see what else source has to tell us about pisces and their person inner strength Bridget move back to wholeness recognize that you have the power so maybe you need to take time to just get back to yourself to you know recognize that you do have the power to you know be in a committed relationship you know you do have the power to open up fully you know and I know that that's crazy for a Pisces Pisces usually you guys do that very easily but again, it just, maybe this person just isn't doing it for you. Um, next up we have Cernunos or Cernunos. I'm not saying, sure if I'm saying that right. Life force. Expand your, your driving passion. Sensual and sexual powers are increased. This is interesting. But that came out. Um, I'm feeling like maybe you're not physically attracted to this person you want to go be free because of that divine healing honor your sensitivity retreat to recharge and heal your light can support others yeah retreat to charge and heal so i think maybe pisces you guys just need to move away for a little bit um and get back to being you to you know what's really important to you what you value this person is definitely into you um, now be careful because it doesn't mean that they're going to wait around forever. Um, so this is what I have for you, Pisces, that you have somebody who's really into you. You have somebody who is willing to commit to you. Oops. Start, uh, maybe a committed relationship with you. And, you know, they're vibing in like very mature masculine energy. They are vibing in emperor energy. So it could be an Aries or someone who has strong Aries in their chart as well. Um, if this reading resonates with you, give it a like, let me know. Um, I love to hear from you. If this is your kind of thing, leave me a comment. I'm sorry. If this is your kind of thing, subscribe to the channel and also leave me a comment too. Um, check out the links below. If you want a personal reading, I do tarot readings as well as life path astrology readings with your natal chart. And I hope to see you in the next reading Pisces. I love you so much and be sure to thrive.